Hi there, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. Yesterday only, Microsoft released March 2024 Power BI updates. And there's one update that got my attention, and this update is an amazing update, and I'm sure you are gonna love it. Microsoft is going towards to making life of a Power BI developer or the business users much easier. And why I'm saying so? Because with the trend of the latest updates in Microsoft Power BI, it's getting easier to design or to build anything in Microsoft Power BI desktop app. In this update, we are going to talk about the automobile layout. What is it and how this can help you, you will get to know in this video. But before moving forward, if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you always stay updated with our latest videos and updates. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. guys as you can see on my desktop first of all you have to open a report and if you don't have any simple layout then I'm gonna provide you one link from where you can download all the latest simple reports from the Microsoft team Microsoft is always keeping a proper library for all the reports that they showcase into the different events etc and this is also one of those so thanks Microsoft for providing all the proper documentation and every PBX files for us to use it and to showcase any new updates so over here, if I'll go in my browser, so you would find over here that there's an option where you can download original sample.pbx files. I'm gonna provide you a link in the description section, so don't forget to check it out and download these files, practice it, and you can also get to know what are the best practices when you are gonna work or creating any reports or the dashboards in Microsoft Power BI. Now let's move forward to our update. Over here, you can see that you have a proper design report, which is a competitive marketing analysis report. Over here, we are gonna design one mobile layout. Let's suppose you're working in an organization where there are thousands of people who are utilizing Microsoft Power BI. And in that case, they also want to analyze their reports or their data on the go. And in that case, we always have our mobile devices in hand, and it would be very easy if we can access our reports on our mobile app. So over here, first of all, what you have to do in order to design any mobile layout report, with this latest update, which I'm gonna show you now. First of all, go to these options and settings. Over here, you have to come under preview features and you have to enable one feature over here, which is going to be your auto create mobile layout, which you can see over here. After that, click it on this button, okay, and restart your desktop. I have already done that, so I'm gonna go directly into our demo mode. Here, let's suppose I want to create this page layout as a mobile layout over there then how I can do that and how easy it is that you're gonna love it over here. So simply click on this mobile layout view. Once you are gonna click over here, it's gonna ask you to create mobile layout with the help of auto create mobile layout option. Isn't it amazing? Before that, it was pretty hectic. I have done that a couple of times and it was very disturbing and it was very difficult to do that because you have to uh, rearrange them, you have to put your text over there, etc. It was like not that easy but still that was helpful but what you can do over here it's the magic but what you can do over here there comes the real magic so you have to simply click on this auto create mobile layout option and voila your report is ready over here and it's still not taking everything so you have to arrange them so it can happen with you but still it's very helpful you can also click on this auto create and you can simply click on this and still you're gonna get this one now it is very easy for you to adjust it. You can just increase the size over here. You can take it on the top. So you have to just drag and drop over here. Let me do that for us and we can arrange it. Also, if you have any over there, so you can arrange it either at the top or wherever you would like to, then you can select these multiple ones over here and take them up as well. Now the rest of the reports, also you have to select all of them from here and let me just select it there are still some remaining i'll do that quickly for you guys so don't worry about it it's not gonna take a lot of time because of this auto create mobile layout you get a lots of more options generally it works very fine probably this is not working but you have to try it at your end and you have to see that how does it work and do share your comment in the comment section now let me select all of these and 
and here you go. Here's your chart. You can also increase the size over here. And the last but not least, this one, we can also take it upwards. So this is a way that you can arrange it and you can work on this one and you can see that now it's looking much prettier and within a couple of minutes I can create the automobile layout over there. However, this feature is in preview and Microsoft team is going and Microsoft Power BI team is continuously working on it and also guys from Microsoft if you are watching this video then I'll request you to please improve this one because there is still a lot to improve over there as you can see that it doesn't fit automatically everything however in the demo when Microsoft shows everything comes so perfect and I was super excited about it but this feature is still very useful and it's going to reduce a lot of workload any on any of the Power BI developer also if you want to do or undo and you want to clear it you can simply use this button over here and you can say hey remove and you don't need it now again you can try this one but we are not going to do this one and we are going to quickly do into the another one let's go over there and let's try once more that how does it work so if i'm over here on this page let's see how does it create a mobile layout for this one so you would come here again and let's try to create automobile layout and this time also it's not giving us a proper one and there's a lot of gap is coming over there which should not be ideally over there so again microsoft guys if you are here uh, if you're watching this video then please take it as a feedback and let us know how we can deal with this or if there's a new update is going to come we are looking forward to this one so what do you think guys about it do you like it you don't like it you still think there's a lot to improve over there please do let us know by commenting in the comment section and we are looking forward to your feedback if you would really want to watch all those videos and you find our videos much informative for you, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also share with your friends and colleagues over there. If you're looking for any Power BI training programs or any consulting services, please contact us. We are looking forward to hear from you. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring the data, and I'm going to see you in the next video.